these mechanical birds, or whatever you want to call them, were created using the thing that I want to talk about today, which is filter cell oscillation. What is filter cell oscillation? And why is it useful? So, you know, when you plug an instrument or mixer into speakers, you might hear a bit of electrical noise, even before you play anything, just like a tzzz. And that bit of electrical activity happening, also known as the noise floor for your instrument or device, that's just the minimum amount of noise that's going to be generated, even before you have any kind of input. Analog synths are no different, or in this case, I'm working with a hybrid synth that has an analog filter. There's just that electrical noise in the filter circuitry. And that's enough to make sound without any other inputs, for example, without an oscillator. So that's going to be your raw sound source for filter self oscillation, that noise inherent in an analog synth or a filter. So the question is just how do you boost that enough and how do you harness it to make music? Resonance. So resonance is feedback, creating a feedback loop of the frequencies right around wherever you have your filter cutoff set. So it boosts those frequencies. And you don't even need to feed your filter with an oscillator because if you've got that electrical noise already present, your resonance can take that and feed it back at the point of your filter frequency cutoff. So resonance is feedback. It boosts the frequencies around uh, your filter cutoff. Normally those frequencies would come from one or more oscillator on your synth, but with the resonance cranked high enough, forget about your oscillators because resonance will take that electrical activity and boost it at the frequency cutoff that you have set. So that's what's happening here. And you can hear that it could be pretty cool for some kick drum sounds. Right? Or some lasers. And you could quickly see how that could be used for some bass sounds as well. Um, a couple things about this. Turn your frequency knob high enough and it's gonna hurt your ears with the resonance crank. So just be careful, you're gonna get a high pitched uh, screaming. Um, you may have a, a default setting for key tracking to be set to your filter or you may not. If you don't, what's gonna happen is because self oscillation occurs just at the frequency cutoff point, you're getting one note across your key bed. So the default setting on this synth is that key tracking is set to 100% for the filter, which means that your keyboard is going to track the filter cutoff point, which means that you can basically just play, play your filter like any other keyboard instrument. Um, so a few more general reasons why this is useful. First of all, it gives you another oscillator. If you have one oscillator, now you have two and it's an analog sound. Maybe not that exciting if you're already using an analog synth, but with a hybrid synth like this one, where we have three digital oscillators, well, now we've got an analog sine wave as well. And that is another reason why it's useful. Fil filter self oscillation results in a sine wave. Some synthesizers don't include a sine wave in their oscillator options. So if you don't have a sine wave option, now you do. And finally, it's just, it's just another way to make music with a different workflow. Maybe it'll give you some new ideas. So, Right off the bat, that sound was created using um, just LFOs applied to the the, fre the frequency cutoff. So I'll drop the patch notes in the description in case you're interested. We heard some kick drum sounds and some bass, some lasers and things like that. One other thing that I think is fun with this is that there's an area of resonance right at the right at the point where the filter almost starts to self oscillate. And it's nice to play around in that area. In particular, I like to do that in order to add a bit of extra something when I want to use noise. So here's noise with no resonance and now adding the resonance in. You can really kind of add something extra. It's almost like if you can whistle, it's like that area right between where you're just blowing air out and when it becomes strong enough and focused enough to resonate into a whistling sound. So drums, bass, noise, sound effects, mechanical birds, these are all just some basic ways to use filter self oscillation. Try it out, take it where you want to take it and have fun.